Now, an historic UAW strike against the Detroit Three has passed the four-day mark, and there reportedly aren't many signs of progress at the negotiating table. We have team coverage this morning of the ongoing impact of the UAW strike, including some unintended consequences that could pack a serious punch for your wallet. First, Fox News Robin Murdoch is live as a possible second strike looms just across the border. Good morning, Jay and Amy. We are standing right on the Detroit Riverfront, and Canadian auto workers, they could soon be hitting the picket line, just like their colleagues in Michigan at that Ford plant in Wayne. The contract expired at 11.59 last night, their contract with Ford. But from what we understand, they are continuing to negotiate at this hour and hope some kind of deal can be reached. So it does appear that some progress is being made in that situation. Unifor represents about 50 600 Ford workers at plants in Canada that make V8 engines for the popular F-150 pickup truck as well as the Mustang. Now, similar to the UAW, they are fighting for better pay and better benefits and job protection as the automaker shifts to electric vehicles. Now, in a statement, Unifor says it is extending its negotiations with the Ford Motor Company for a 24-hour period. The union has received a substantive offer from the employers minutes before the deadline and bargaining is continuing. Continuing uniform members should maintain strike readiness. End quote. Now, the last time that there was a strike at those Canadian operations was back in 1990. We, of course, will keep an eye on how those talks are going and have the very latest for you throughout the morning. For now, we are reporting live from the riverfront. I'm Robin Murdoch for Fox 2 News.